Hey guys, happy International Women's Day. So for this holiday, I wanted to tell you guys all about my natural hair story, literally from beginning to end. I did a big chop in January 2019, and it was a really powerful and liberating decision. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and also hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Let me take you guys back through it, all the way from the beginning. Graduated, I first got into the working world, and I just wanted something a little sharp, kind of bossy. And so I did this this bob, and I loved it, and I felt like, like that was my look. To keep it up like that though, I was putting a flat iron on my hair every single day. I remember this one day, I was on FaceTime with my sister, Simone, and I had just washed my hair. I had let it air dry, and it dried straight. Like no waves, no like nothing. And then Simone's like, oh, did you blow dry your hair? I was like, no, it air dried like this. I was like, oh my gosh, like what happened? I started following people on Instagram. Like I found out about Mia the Light. I found out about Nye McFly. Then January, 2019, the beginning of the year, I was like, I washed my hair. I got out. I had literally the flat iron on one side of the counter and I had my scissors in the drawer on the other side. And I'm like, I can either keep crunching my hair with this heat or I can take the scissors and start over. So I took those scissors and I snip, 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 snip my hair. I remember feeling like, what the heck did I just do? But at the same time, I was so excited. I'm like, wow, I just took matters into my own hands about my hair, I didn't book an appointment. I just like, I cut it and then I looked at myself and I felt beautiful. Like, I looked radiant. I looked just like, my, ha my head was made for this style. I also made a decision to go on this vacation with my sister and my cousin. We booked our flights. We went to St. Thomas. Before this, I hadn't shown anybody that I cut my hair. Like a lot of my family didn't know, a lot of my friends didn't even know. I had just kind of kept it to myself. But once we like hit the ground at St. Thomas and we were on the beach, my cousin, she like snapped all these photos of me and then like all these cute pictures and I'm like, I'm posting this. And so I remember I posted it on my Instagram and I was just like, I was so happy. I got back to DC, I was loving it. I was loving the new hair. I looked on Instagram for like some shortcut inspiration, Pinterest, just different boards. And I was like, you know what? I think I could rock this like straight haired pixie. I think I can do it, you know? But deep down, I was just like, oh, but the reason I cut off my hair was to avoid heat. But let me try this out. And I tried it and I mean, it was cute. It was fun, it was, it was different. But I was just like, this isn't me. And my poor curls, right? Like they had just come back. My, cur my curls were so beautiful. I made a promise to myself. I'm like, well, my hair is in big chop short form. I will never, never put a flat iron on it again. I don't know what it was about my shortcut, y'all, but I just, it made me feel empowered. Like it made me feel like just, I could really do anything and that nobody could stop me. It still felt a little compartmentalized because every day I was waking up going to a job I didn't love, but outside of work, I was just so like happy and free and just doing my thing. And then my sister's, my little sister's graduation rolled around. During that time, she was telling us how, you know, she was at a point where she was a journalism major as well, which I was in undergrad, but she's like, I don't want to go this way. What I want to do is pursue my acting career. So that in itself inspired me. I'm like, wow. Shortly after her graduation, I took that leap of faith and I just said, I'm gonna focus all my energy and all my attention in trying to get a news job, no matter what it takes. With everything in me, I kept preparing my reel and then responses started coming in. I stepped out and there was something on the other side of it. You know, I had faith in, and with my hair like this too, like people like me, like, when I had my bob, I couldn't even get in the room for one job. And now I'm in like three, I, I'm doing interviews every other weekend. I was excited, I was grateful. And then it rolled around for a time in the year where I had the chance to visit Kenya, which y'all, I talk about Kenya in, my, uh, in many different videos. I'm not gonna talk your ear off about it, but 
I did get to visit Kenya to visit a school that I had funded out there and helped build. While I was in Kenya, that was a turning point for my hair. It started growing out a little bit, y'all. I was in the mirror like bobby pinning down my hair so it would still look short. Like, I didn't know what to do with it. When I was in Kenya, I had all type of headbands and I had like, I did, my hair was just, I didn't know what to do with it. Once I got back from Kenya, I had, you know, I was I was on the job. And a couple weeks after I got my job, I went to Los Angeles for one of my best friend's birthdays. She was turning 25, it was my friend Jasmine and it was a super happy time in my life. But my hair, I just was like, I don't know what to do with it. Like I would tell my friend Jasmine, I was like, what do I do at this point? And then she's she's so funny. She's like, oh, well, you're just at the TWA phase right now. I'm like, what does TWA mean? And she said, it means teeny weeny afro. <laughs> I'm like, sorry, I just snorted, but she's like, you're TWA, it's just a TWA phase. You're cute, you're rocking it. And I was like, okay, sis, if that's what it's called, I'm just gonna, she's like, just push through this period. I was like, should I cut it? She's like, no, 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 let it grow out. It'll grow, just just trust the process. And so that was a time, that was a time in my natural hair journey where I'm just like, all right, oh, this TWA phase is not cute. My friend Jasmine, she's an expert. She had a hair channel. She was telling me what to use. She was really helpful during this. Um, she just kept pushing me along and she was right. Not even like a full month later, I started seeing more growth. There was a turning point. I could do a slick back again, like a slick back bun. Like I had this much hair, this much hair in my bun, but I could do it. <laughs> you couldn't tell me anything, y'all. I was like, look, look at that, this smile. Look at my smile in this picture. This was genuine joy. I was happy. I was so happy. I mean, doing this bun made me just feel beautiful. First of all, I think the slick back is like the most beautiful hairstyle ever. It's my favorite. I feel my most beautiful when I wear a slick back, honestly. Like, I love the curls, don't get me wrong, but when I wear a slick back bun, I don't know what comes over me. I feel like that chick. I gave the curls, the curls took a back seat for a little while during that period. When I realized I could do a slick back bun, the curls, I was like, yeah, y'all need to just, just lay back for a little while. It's not your time right now. It was the first year in like over a hundred years that Howard was playing Harvard again and my best friend lives in Boston. So I was like, I told my brother Otis, I was like, we are going to this game. Like, it's just gonna be so much fun. Even though I was neglecting my curls a little bit, this was, I'm sharing the whole journey. This was part of it where I felt pretty. For that it was homecoming. Um, it was homecoming at Howard. I have my slick back again. I was feeling myself, okay? And even um, in the midst of that, I spoke on a panel and I picked out my hair because I'm like, you know, on this panel in the School of Communications, I wanted to sit on stage and show my hair just as it was. And that's what I was doing. My hair was growing. My hair started growing again. Like, I don't know what it was. I don't, I don't know what it was about month 10. I just, I would wake up and my sister would ask, what did you do? And I would say, I don't know. I don't, it's just, it's coming back. It was just like a month of growth and personal growth. But shortly after that, I got to see all my family. It was basically a family reunion in New Orleans, Louisiana for a wedding. And I just saw my family again. I was just so full of joy. My hair started growing back. I mean, like my hair at this point, I could do like a little afro if I wanted to. And I did one of the days I could do, I could do this little puff. You know, I could do these, I could do these ponytails now. We're in December, we're like 11 months in now. And I would pull down my hair and I'm like, this is about the length of my hair when I had the bob, if not longer. So I'm like, it's been not even a year and it all came back. All my hair grew back. I was. I'm still amazed, like I'm still amazed that it even looks like it, how it does now. Sometimes it comes out like an afro, like a genuine afro with no curls. Sometimes after I take a shower in deep condition, my hair will like have the, these beautiful curls and just like this amazing curl pattern. I, the craziest thing about this journey is I don't know what I'm gonna get. Today, before I even sat down and recorded this video, 
I didn't know what I was gonna get. That's why I could never be like a total natural hair channel because y'all, I play it by ear every day. I experiment with different products. I use Cantu, Eco Style Gel. I use Mixed Chicks. Like I use so many different hair products that like I couldn't possibly tell you. I couldn't tell anybody what to do, what would work for them. So now we've reached the end of my journey. Here I am. This is me now. My hair, this is over a year of growth now. This is, we're in March, so we're like 14 months later. And like my hair is like, this is longer than it was when it was in a bob. When it was in a bob, it was like right about here. So, you know, if you're scared to cut your hair, I say just do it. I say just go for it. It will grow back. It grew back. I might cut it again, I might not, but it's not something to be afraid of. It's just something to embrace and something to learn. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like this and share it if it inspired you in any way, if you feel like, if you enjoyed this video and hearing about my journey, just make sure to share it with your friends. And I really wanna encourage you, even if it's not with your hair, even if it's just in life in general, to just take a leap, do something that you're afraid to do because you never know what can be on the other side of that. See you guys in my next video. Bye.